السلام علیکم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم میتھس کلاس چیپٹر فور الجبرک ایکسپریشنس اینڈ الجبرک فارمولاز بفور اسٹارٹنگ چیپٹر فور الجبرک ایکسپریشنس اینڈ الجبرک فارمولا لیٹ اس ٹیک اے ریویو دیٹ وٹ آر دا مین تھنگس دیٹ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس ان دس چیپٹر فرسٹ وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ الجبرک ایکسپریشنس پالینومیلس ریشنل ایکسپریشنس دین اباؤٹ ڈفرینٹ الجبرک فارمولاز دین لیٹر آن سرڈس and their applications, operation on search and in last, rationalization of search and what does mean by monomial search and binomial search. So the first thing that we have to discuss in this chapter is that uh, what does mean by, what does mean by algebraic expressions. Algebraic expression is uh, that in which constant or variables or both are combined by the basic operations when we have a variable as well as constant and we just represent or we just write it with the help of basic operations as in mathematics we have four basic operation division multiplication subtraction and addition whenever we just uh, write the variables as well as constants with the four basic these four basic operation we can say that we are writing a uh, algebraic expression and uh, in algebraic expression the first uh, thing that we have to discuss is polynomials polynomials are or polynomials mean an expression with many terms for example here i give the example this is representing one of the polynomial the simple number or simple number whole number is represented as or said as a constant term the second term in a polynomial is the number which have or in which variable is having a power of one is said to be the linear term and when the power of a variable is two it is said to be the quadratic term and when power is three of variable it is said to be the cubic term and it is also the number that is representing or the, that is with the highest uh, degree of uh, polyno uh, degree of variable is said to be the leading coefficients there are different types of polynomials polynomials are represented by numbers of term as well as with the help of degree so first uh, what does mean by number of term or how many types of polynomials are there with respect to number of term first one is monomials monomials are the uh, polynomials which have only one or uh, in simple words we can say that when the expression when we use one expression or uh, when uh, one term is there one algebraic term is there it is representing the monomials when we have two algebraic terms and it is represented by any one basic operation whether it would be uh, addition subtraction multiplication or division that is said to be the binomials and in last trinomials are there trinomials are or tri means three so whenever we have three algebraic terms which is written with two basic operations are said to be the trinomials the expressions which have more than three algebraic terms are said to be the polynomials or in general we used to set that as a polynomials then comes types of polynomials according to degree first one is a constant polynomials constant polynomials are the polynomials which have no degree mean degree is equal to zero and uh, in linear polynomials as i described you in uh, earlier uh, example linear polynomials are the polynomials which have in which variable have a degree of one and then comes quadratic polynomial in which variable consists of degree of two and last one is a cubic polynomials cubic polynomial is having the degree of 3 there are other more than that powers are also present in that but we use or in this chapter we will use particularly these four degrees these are some of the examples of uh, types of polynomial with respect to number of terms like in this uh, monomials first term or one on a polynomial which have one term is said to be monomial is represented as 6 4x cube and minus 5 a square b cube binomials which have two terms like here 6x is one term and 2 is second term so these are representing two terms so whenever we have two terms with one basic operation here pos positive sign is there negative sign is there 
positive is there means addition and subtraction is there in both terms then comes trinomials trinomials means which have more than two terms means three terms are present there like in first equation 3x square minus 5x plus 8 is there it is representing the three terms with two basic operations and last one is a polynomials polynomials mean many terms whenever we have the terms more than three we can uh, or we usually used to say that it is representing the polynomials and polynomials represent many terms means more than four or five then comes types of polynomials according to degree these are some of the examples of types of polynomials related to degree first one is a constant polynomial constant polynomial means in which degree is equal to zero means there is no variable present in constant polynomials then comes linear polynomial linear polynomials mean in which degree is one like uh, here x plus eight is there x is having the power of one so it is said to be the linear polynomial then quadratic polynomials quadratic polynomials represent the polynomials which have highest degree as two like uh, 3x square minus 2x square plus 7 is representing the highest degree of 2 and last one is a cubic polynomial cubic polynomial is a polynomial in which highest degree is said to be the 3 like 5x cube or 2y cube minus y plus 4 is representing the highest degree as cube afterward this we have to we have also said that uh, there are different rational expressions present or represented as a algebraic expression so rational expression is a expression on in the form of p by q where q is not equal to zero is said to be the rational expression when we uh, write some uh, algebraic expression in p by q form that is said to be the rational ex um, expressions for example these are some of the example 3 by x or 2x square uh, 2xy square divided by 5x y z cube means it is in p by q form p by q form means p is representing the numerator and q is representing the denominator so when we are writing the term in p by q form it is said to be the rational expression and uh, every polynomial can be regarded as a rational expression since uh, we can write p x simply as p x divided by 1 thus uh, every polynomial is a rational expression but every rational expression need not to be a polynomial sometimes rational expressions after rational expressions we have to discuss about basic algebraic formulas these are some of the basic algebraic formulas that we are going to discuss in this and uh, we have to just uh, apply these formulas or we have to use these formulas in uh, different uh, questions and apply it according to the situations means if we have the situation or if they are just uh, uh, saying that uh, we have to find out uh, find out the square of anything then we have to apply the formula related to square of uh, or square of that thing or if a formula of cubic or cube is related to the question then we have to apply the formula that is considered as a cubic formula or related to that particular question then comes SERS SERS are an irrational radical with rational radicands is called SERS for example under root 3 when uh, our irrational radical uh, with the rational radicands for example I have a number under root 3 is a rational number and uh, I just apply a power of 1 by 2 as the square root is represented as uh, 1 by 2 so it is representing some irrational number whenever I just uh, write a number with any a rational number with any irrational radi um, irra rational radicand uh, radicands or radicals it is said to be the search these are there are two types of search monomials and binomials monomial cert is a cert which contain a single term is said to be monomial for example under root 2 it is representing the single term and uh, binomial certs are the certs which contain some of two monomial certs or some of monomial certs and rational numbers are said to be the binomial certs for example as i gave the example of uh, under root uh, 7 plus under root 5 is there so it is representing the binomial certs
and uh, if every third in is an uh, irrational number but uh, every irrational number is not a third and uh, why so because uh, sometimes uh, like uh, if we take the under root of pi it is not considered as a third or it is not um, just uh, up to on the basic definition of thirds then uh, there are different laws of third that is applicable on different thirds that we have to discuss in uh, questions and these laws are applicable on different types of questions for example first one is uh, ab under root n under root n under the root of n ab is there we just apply these formulas or laws on uh, the question related to these in exercises